Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a team that one of my locals sent in. This is uh, from Hot Striker. Oh, maybe I should uh, remove the camera there so you can see the title. <laughs> this is a this is a Hot Striker. He's a local here in San Antonio, and it's going to be a very bulky team with Lickitung in the front and double sidekicks in the back with Metacham and Cresselia. Um, yeah, I'm guessing he's just going to basically have a neutral lead and then try to... Uh, just try to sweep with one of the two uh, mon in the back there if you haven't definitely hit the subscribe button and let's get into the video so umbreon against lickitung so this is a really really neutral matchup um unlike munchlax and licky uh licky licky the ones that i usually use lickitung actually has a slightly better matchup against this umbreon still doesn't win because the lick damage is being resisted uh but you can bring it super low and then i imagine uh, I imagine he was. There's two strats to to do here, um, without knowing his specific strategy. I should re uh, put the video back up. Um, yeah, so either he's gonna stay all the way in, get it super low, and then farm it down with Metacham. Maybe get two or three. I don't know, one, two, or three uh, counters in to get a little bit of advantage going into the back line, or come in with Cresselia and get a major farm down because of. Uh, dark type double resisting or at some point in there could have switched to Cresselia and then really gone for Moonblast. But it looks like he decides to stay in with this matchup, take the one-on-one -on -one to its natural conclusion, and then um, coming with Metacham and getting one counter, unfortunately not as much. Trevenant in the back's really bad. Um, this is obviously going to be good against both the Mon here. This is a Seed Bomb. All right. We get to the Psychic. Psychic's actually going to do a lot of damage to Trevenant. I'm not sure if it KOs or not. I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Um, but definitely going for another one. Really would want Ice Punch in this matchup. Would have been really good. But also needs that counter damage against um, Steel types as this team is a little weak against the Steel and Rock in general. Especially the Steel Rock type of Bastiodon. Anyways, we get both shields here. We're going to get Shadow Cl Not Shadow Cloud. We're going to get Seed Bomb down here. And then Cresselia is going to come in. Um, I believe that a Moonblast from here will KO. They actually decide to switch out, which is really bad for them. Um, they actually could have just stayed in and outpaced or caught at some point. Um, because now I think he's going to go for a big time farm up and then go for a Grass Knot and have the two Grass Knots and then uh, throw the Moonblast at the Trevenant. That's what I think is going to happen. Let's see what happens here. Oh, our opponent does have Ice Punch. That is interesting. So yeah, he's going to go up to both, throw the Grass Knot before they get hit by another Ice Punch. And, uh, oh, they actually undercharge to try to farm down. Unnecessary, but um, Trevenant is out of energy, so not too necessary to do this, but also, as you see, not really hurting us anyways. Only thing is, timer's up, and uh, we're one Shadow Claw away, which can be pretty scary. Oh, we do get end up getting taken out. So Trevenant in the back, obviously really tough against this team. Lickitung really good against Trevenant, but not so much the other way. All right, this is another kind of neutral matchup. It really depends whether or not they want to go Brave Bird. Uh, most of the time, I think they will go uh, Flame Charge, uh, just because the Body Slam is not too pressuring. Oh, we go for the Shield just in case it's the Brave Bird. Oh, it is the Brave Bird. So we are going to... Uh, come in or, or or get the chance to win switch basically and yeah Cresselia really good against DD Thunderbolt gonna be the greatest move that can be uh, thrown here rock slide not too bad either um, interesting going for the grass knots here I don't know this matchup but it must be two grass knots to a KO no it looks like three grass knots or two and a huge farm down because I think I would have tried to maybe gone moonblast and a uh, and a grass knot and then get the farm down from there Again, these are not exactly the Pokemon that I use the most, but um, Cresselia is obviously very good. So it looks like three in a farm down because I'm pretty sure this doesn't KO. Did we get that farm down? Uh, probably don't live a rock slide. No, we do live. Oh my gosh. Okay, so really good there. We're down one shield, sure, but... Um, he goes for the switch out. It's actually really interesting because Cresselia doesn't have a move right now. Um, I guess he just didn't want that extra flame charge to come through. Only one flame charge would have taken us out. And 
Uh, Metacham is probably going to be good against the thing in the back, if I was to guess. Ooh, and it is Bastiodon. Definitely not what you want to see. Power Whip going to be the stronger move here. Uh, Body Slam is obviously double resisted, so uh, Power Whip is neutral. So Power Whip going to be doing a little more. Just let this go. F probably just farm all the way down with Metacham. Um, I guess you can go for a Power Up Punch if you want. Uh, but I think I would just farm it all the way down, get as close to two Psychics as possible, and then uh, throw that into Talonflame. As you see, he goes for two counters in between each of the flame, uh, each of the Incinerates. That's the uh, best way to do it. And the opponent actually called the bait, but they're so low anyways that a second Power Up Punch, even though it's resisted, is going to be KOing, and that's going to be GG. So, so far, two really bad leads here, but... Showing, uh, showing the strength. Victory Bell. This is an interesting matchup as well. Uh, the really good, oh, good catch by them. But Bastiodon gonna get extremely farmed down by Metacham. Um, stays in here. This is actually a really good idea. He goes to get a move and then uh, comes in with Metacham because Metacham is never gonna be pressured uh, by Bastiodon at all. So, uh, yeah, just going to go probably for the complete farm down. We'll get hit by another flamethrower, uh, but that's fine. Going to be really... Okay, he doesn't want to get hit by the flamethrower. That's fine. Going to be able to throw the psychics into victory bell. Also could bait, but probably is a little risky to bait. And it actually ends up being Sableye. So this is actually the move to go for Sableye because it does double resist psychic where it only single resists uh, counter and power up punch. So just going to try to amp on this and uh, do as much damage as possible before coming in. Uh, luckily, we do have the move safe still on Lickitung. Probably going to come in with that Lickitung here. Uh, Body Slam, even though it's resisted, is going to be doing a lot here. Technically, we'd live a foul play, but really going to want to be using the shields at this point because the last thing in the back is a victory bell, and it's not going to pressure your shields at all as it is a fast attack pokemon uh this is a pretty old team from season from the earlier seasons uh where you have the safe swap of xl sableye and then just the absolute bulk of the xl bastidon and that's going to be gg uh whether or not they shield doesn't doesn't matter too much both of these moves technically resisted the grass not double resisted but uh obviously a Shadow Victory Bell doesn't have very much bulk to it, so I'm going to get taken out here, and that's going to be GG. All right, the old Bastion on uh, Victory Bell lines. At least it wasn't double grass, right? Okay, Registeel. This is very tough in the lead. Um, Registeel is so good now in Great League with the uh, addition of Zap Cannon. Really good catch here. Um, if it's a focus blast, really, really good counting by uh, Hot Striker there. This is a bad matchup, but it's kind of neutral as you are going to live a foul play and you're going to be dealing super effective back as well. So um, pretty good and really good to get it out here so that the Metacham isn't facing it in the back. Um, and then Lickitung is going to be able to farm this all the way down without shielding again. Going to gain all that energy and um, be able to, y well going to be able to technically use it. I actually really like using it here because even though it's double resisted, is going to basically KO. And that energy is not really going to do much against this Registeel. So Registeel decides to stay in. Um, I think they're probably switch timer locked as we did catch a move. So they're about 10 seconds behind us. And now they're so close to a move that they want to throw the Zap Cannon anyways. I like shielding the Metasham here. Already power up punched once. So this is just bringing us back to parity. And we are close to a move. Um, this is going to be close. They do take the Psychic. Now, Lickitung can actually end up farming this down. So maybe... Wow, I actually thought he was going to save the shield for the Lickitung against Reggie in the back. Uh, but this is fine, too. You can actually go for the bait if you want. Don't have to, though. But um, these still can give defense drops as well. Ooh. The, so Hot Striker in this matchup really using the timer to his advantage um, as the switch has just been off since the beginning, since catching that move. So really setting the tone with that move catch there at the beginning 
and now uh, allowing us to save our Metacham in the back. Their Metacham now going to be out of energy, uh, and probably this actually gets farmed down before it gets to another move. And these licks are still super effective, even though you're taking super effective back. But uh, there you go. All right, next matchup. This person's name is like Your Japan. All right, another Umbreon lead. It changes it up. So this is kind of weird. Usually you have a strat in my, uh, a strategy in mind uh, when you're playing a team. So it's weird to change up that strategy. It seemed like last time he wanted to keep the Umbreon, although he did lose last time. So maybe this time he's saying to himself, you know what? Uh, last time we took the L, this time we're going to uh, change it up, see if we can get a victory with an Umbreon in the lead. So I do like the change up. Um, maybe he was newer to this team at this point. We did get the shield from the uh, Coffre Gigas. And uh, they actually throw a move here before uh, being able to farm us down. And then this is obviously just going to be a huge lick down. I think Dark Pulse is... I guess it could have Psychic. I didn't see. Uh, yeah, Dark Pulse is the move coming in. And like I said, yeah, just full farming. Going to have a huge energy advantage against the Umbreon. May even just switch out instantly. Yep. This is... A foul play, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's a Dark Pulse. Okay. And then they switch to... I think it was Diggersby. So Metacham going to be able to just pup through this. Has two shields. Probably just going to double shield this and already be so amped up, so powered up against the uh, Umbreon that they're going to be able to farm down for sure. And they're, our opponent could double bait. Doesn't really matter. We're going to use the shields here for sure. Um, Earthquake going to be a much stronger possible move than um, the last resort. Okay, goes to the Fire Punch. Good call. Doesn't really matter. Like I said, this is GG. Even uh, even if, well, even if we just had half this Metacham like we do now, but no powered up punches, I guess we're even at a third. They're going to just be taking so much damage, and we still have the 75-80% Lick of Tongue there in the back um, to to also pressure it as well. And we still have the shield. So they could get farmed down. Probably just going to go for that last pup and then uh, actually take it out. I think this is actually the fourth pup, which means it'll be fully charged. Opponent does leave before getting hit. And uh, that's a GG. All right. Thank you so much, Hot Striker, for sending in this video. Um, if you guys have these Pokemon, they're super bulky for this league. And uh, if you haven't, again, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one.